Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. If you are at home, which you probably are quite a lot of the time, and you're a radio amateur, you might be doing more than the usual amount of operating. I plan to do more than the usual amount, which is practically none lately because of my medical conditions that I have, mainly including making me want to be in bed all the time. I got to get up and move around a little bit, but I don't have any particular place to go. And my ham radio station is perfectly sound and intact and ready to go with its 10 watts CWRF output on the HF bands, particularly 20 meters and above, or seven watts output on PSK 31. Not a lot of power because I don't want to have a lot of problems with interference to neighbors appliances or some of my own appliances, RF in the shack, all of that kind of thing, and because I enjoy the challenge of operating with low power. You can watch some of my other videos showing my shack. It hasn't changed much. If you want to, if you're really curious, I, I just have a 22-foot vertical antenna on the railing of the deck, base-loaded with a 50 picofarad capacitor, thereby resonating on 14 megahertz, fed with RG8X cable, and it has a standing wave ratio of about 1.3 to 1. It also works on other bands simply by force feeding. You may have other antennas, possibly indoor antennas as my previous video described, but outdoor antennas, of course, are preferable if you can manage it. And one of the commenters in my previous video made it pretty clear that he was planning on putting up an outdoor antenna. But you can still have RF in the shack problems, even if you take all precautions to avoid it. And one thing that you should definitely be aware of regardless of what other circumstances may exist in society at the time, you want to be sure that your signal doesn't cause interference with any kind of electronic or, well, electronic medical devices, such as pacemakers or devices for administering intravenous fluids, or all kinds of other things nowadays that uh, homebound people use that rely on electronics. You want to make sure that, that yours and your neighbor's medical equipment are not affected by the RF from your station. And keeping down the power is a good way to do that, but maintaining a sound antenna design intended to cause radiation from the antenna and not from the feed line or anything else, keeping the RF out of the electrical system of your house. Uh, one reader or viewer mentioned using a few milliwatts of power and the mode WSPR, Whiskey Sierra Papa Romeo, also sometimes called Whisper Mode, other experimental modes. But I think that's, uh, and that also applies to those of you who might be using other radio communications systems that involve the transmission of radio frequency energy. I can't speak for microwave ovens. I don't have one or use one. I don't like the way they smell after a few days of use, and I can't seem to get that stench out of them. 
even no matter what kind of cleaner I use. That, that's another, another issue. But beware of the possibility of RFI or EMI to electronic medical devices. I think QST uh, several years ago published uh, an article or series of articles about that and of course you can Google on it for yourself uh, and search the YouTube annals for yourself. That's today's recommendation from Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, who will now say 73 and so long, which, in my native fist, translates to da-da-da-da-da-da.